loss calculation. Yeah? Sometimes firms make losses. Sometimes they make profit. In the previous lesson, uh, we covered the profit. But now let's look at how loss looks like on a graph. Okay? Um, remember that the price is a key determinant in making a profit or making a loss. Uh, average total cost is also a key determinant, just like quantity. So normally what we have to look for in an exam question is, what is the price being charged by this particular firm? And what is the average total cost faced by this firm? And what quantity are they selling or producing? So with these three variables, you should be able to calculate your loss or profit. For now, let's look at the loss. So here, remember the formula that we have to look for all the time. The profit maximizing condition is marginal cost equals to marginal revenue. That has to always be in your mind when you start looking at this analysis. We have here our marginal revenue line. MR, which is the same as your average revenue line for a perfect competition. Okay, this is for perfect, which is also the same as the demand curve. But this is also the same as the price, okay? We know all these variables are the same for a perfect competitor. So for analysis purposes, let's say this value here is 6, okay? But we don't know the quantity. We don't know the average total cost. So let's fulfill that condition. We have the marginal revenue. Where is the marginal cost? So we have to draw another line. Our marginal cost and MC equals MR happens here. This condition MC equals MR is fulfilled here. So let's say the quantity is 10. Something is missing from our graph, and that's the average total cost. Okay, is it gonna be higher or is it gonna be lower? That would determine whether there is a loss or there is a profit. Remember, all the time, if you are looking for a loss, make sure that your ATC is higher than the price. That means, on the average, how much you spend on making your product is much higher than the price you are charging in the market. No one does that. Yeah, but sometimes it's okay. So here is what we do. We have our ATC. A, T, C, okay? Remember, you should always look for MC equals MR, MC equals MR, and then go up. Go up to meet the ATC. So let's go up. Okay, we go up. Come to the left-hand side to see your cost. So let's say this is eight, as an example. Oh, by the way, we have to put our quantity here, okay? Just for, this is our price and also cost this is cost here okay so price and cost are all here these are your quantities so from this you can calculate whether the firm, uh, the firm is making a loss or a profit let's use our formula our known formula um, profit equals price minus ATC times our quantity. So we have the price, okay? This is price, price is six here. ATC is higher. ATC, this is average total cost. ATC, it's much higher, it's eight. So we put the eight here, times, what's the quantity? The quantity is 10, times 10. So, 6 minus 8, we have a problem. 6 minus 8 is minus 2 times 10. So, we are making a loss of $20 or pounds or whatever currency you are thinking of. Okay? So, there is a loss here. We are making a loss of 20. Well, what is the logic behind this? The logic is, this firm is operating at a very high average total cost. 
when they divide their total cost by the quantity they are selling, the average is too high. If it's a bottle of water, for example, they spend $8 on the bottle of water and they sell it for only $6. So that's the logic uh, in terms of this. So we don't need anything beyond this. Um, with this sort of graph, you should be able to work out the loss very easily. Always bear in mind, if the ATC is higher than the price, the ATC is below the price line, there's going to be a profit. If the ATC is right tangential to the price line, that's going to lead to no profit. And we call that zero profit. But I'll cover that in the next lesson. Thank you.